Modular homes are an increasingly popular way of addressing the UK's housing shortage, with off-site construction a cheaper and a quicker way to provide high-quality homes than traditional construction methods. Essex-based Swan Housing Group, along with its partner New Living, is the first housing association in the country to open its own modular housing factory. But this innovation is only a small part of what Swan Group does, as Mariano Hotter explains. This factory complex in Basildon, Essex, is the unlikely site of a housing revolution because inside, modular homes constructed from CLT, cross-laminated timber, are being produced for a housing association by a housing association. This is the CLT you can see on the walls here. It's very, very thick. Um, it comes from well-managed, sustainable sources. Um, it creates very thermally efficient homes that are then really nice to live in because they have low energy bills um, and they're really pleasant places to be. Swan Housing works across East London and Essex. Paul Williamson leads the modular construction here at their Basildon factory, producing up to 500 homes a year. We'll ship them to site complete with uh, kitchens, bathrooms, tiles, lighting, um, everything that you'd see in a normal house, really. It's already in situ? Already in situ. Precision engineering means fewer construction defects, millimetre perfect accuracy, and homes that can be completed in 50% of the time traditional construction would take. The factory has created more than 40 jobs and is training tradespeople with skills for the future. I think they're a brilliant idea. I think this should be sort of a game changer for the construction industry and the sort of housing problem we've got in the UK at the moment. Because it's all done on site, it can be done without any hindrance of weather. We are able to reinvest all of those profits from our commercial activities um, back into our communities. So that means if we build homes for private sale, we are able to reinvest every penny that we make back into our business, which means providing additional services for residents and building new homes for people who need them. These modular homes are destined for the estate redevelopment at Beechwood in the heart of Basildon. Swan Housing has already completed more than 400 homes on the estate and developed new retail units and a community centre. The next stage is a mixed tenure estate of modular builds, with around two-thirds for private sale and the rest for shared ownership and social rent. The developer New Living is wholly owned by Swan, meaning all profits go straight back to the housing association. We are in it for the long term. We don't want to just build the homes and leave. We want to build communities that are sustainable, have mixed tenure, so there's all different types of people living there, and we want to invest in that community. Swan's strategy is to build 10,000 new homes by the year 2027, generating £250 million that can then be reinvested in homes and services for local people. At Beechwood, potential buyers are being invited to design their own two, three, four and five bedroom homes to create a varied estate of unique houses. The configurator offers up to 316,000 possible permutations in one house. You can have a look at your street scene, where your car would be parked. You can go through flooring, different options, different colours. It's like grand designs. It's like grand designs without all the cost and the hassle. And then here, there's a summary of everything you've chosen, exactly what you're going to pay. And then the order goes off to our factory and then they make it all for you. And the thing that makes SWAN unique is that we are prepared to innovate. And it's housing associations that are prepared to innovate and do things differently that are able to generate that income to reinvest in their communities. As well as the new homes, we're providing uh, significant community facilities and encouraging people to use those facilities so that we can grow a community. We're also looking to make sure the public realm is maintained in it to a high standard. So not only the homes themselves, but the environment in which the homes exist is somewhere where people truly want to live. Ourselves, local authorities and housing associations as a collective have really got to work together to achieve that. And I think it, we have reached a stage where by working together we can truly perhaps bring about greater numbers than we can work in individually.